Well, hello to episode uh, 25 of FPL Top Dogs, Valley Hollis, and um, welcome if you just joined. Um, thank you very much. And uh, just going to keep this as short as I can so I can get it out before the 6.30 deadline. Um, loads of people have been making decisions. Um, and uh, obviously, uh, for this game week, every, mostly everybody will be after the triple captain of Salah, which we've seen a, a, a record haul. You know, what's the, what is it? Um, um, loads and loads and loads of points anyway, was it 72? Um, yeah, so most people had the triple captain done, so a lot of people are just overdosed with them um, Arsenal, United, and Chelsea. Well, not so much Chelsea, but Arsenal and United st stacking up, so loads of people are free hitting. And, um, you know, at the moment, I did, I use my free hit, um, this game week just gone, um, game of 26. And uh, it, it turned out to be a really good move in a way. It was, a well, my version of a differential, as you can see, that nobody else did a free hit, I think, apart from James, James E. Lyons. And he went up as well. He went up quite a bit of places. Good score there, 114. But probably not enough to get um, a green arrow. It was just crazy. Um, anything over 125, you might have got a green arrow. It's just crazy. Um, so mostly everybody, as you can see, triple captained uh, last game week and that unbelievable double game week. It ended really badly with Arsenal and uh, Wolves last night at 2-1. Um, most people, again, had maybe double Arsenal defence at Ramsdale, a tyranny, or Ramsdale, Gabriel, uh, Saka. Um, and oh, Lacazette was the guy to have got in. But these are the calls you do. And um, it was a bit of a damn squib. Two of them got booked as well, um, Saka and Gabriel. So... Um, could have been better, but it's a terrific um, uh, surge by myself. Top four now. Um, I'm a bit uh, handicapped now in a way in regard to chips with just a bench boost and a trip cap and loads of people now. So I'm just waiting for uh, everyone to filter into their natural places when they've all used their chips. Um, especially some people would have, you know, still have two free hits. Maybe definitely everyone has got one anyway on me and the this this game week I kind of I had um um I had the wild card there a couple of a couple of weeks ago I think I, I kind of did it a bit too early. I know myself it was just a bit of frustration um on the week before. Um yeah the wild card played only 37 game week 23. Um with that wild card I think I got Trippier in and I got a few others in uh Josh uh, um I think I got Cancelo in so the the majority, you know, like Pope on the bench was devastating, of course, uh, on alleviate. So I think I've got quite lucky. I went with De Bruyne back then, brought him in, looking to get on somebody, um, and everybody wanted double Watford. So um, it's not worked out too bad in the long run, that wild card, believe it or not, because it set me up for a terrific score in 84, a um, green arrow there. Um, you know, with 34, well, uh, so, uh, you know, after game week 23, uh, the surge really began, not so much on the wild card, but the 84, very good, 68, quite good, and then the 145. So I've not had to do too much messing about. Um, so, you know, I've, I've gone quite rapidly from 600,000 in game week 17, um, messing about, great game week there, 26,000th in the world, 83, um, nearly half my, my thing, half in the, in, in, to overall in half. And I've been messing about with this, but now I'm starting to make a run, 204. Now it's going to be very hard to keep that position. My, my ambition is to get the 204 or under the 200,000 and maintain it. And that would be phenomenal. Although last year I got 20, 234,000, which I'm disappointed with that. Um, I was on a good progression there. Um, I want to, I want to be top 50 K always, you know, at least, and it's very hard to mimic that season as Suarez. But yeah, so overall, I'm really, really happy with what's uh, been going on my side. I've made a run, but I am realistic um, to know that uh, loads of people are going to catch up with what I've been at. I've made a kind of run going, carrying on just with a trip cap and a bench boost. But um, 
So you know, to set up a, a bench boost, usually if you can get a wild card before that and then eye it. So um, up to this point, very happy. Um, doing the free head, obviously, I just could only Captain Salah. Uh, then I guess Saka didn't have too too much of a, well, at least he done something in the first game. But, well, Pepe came on and done the business for Arsenal last night. Um, and who can who can you got you can't you can't pick Pepe. Uh, Emil Smith Rowe was sick, I suppose, again. We well, didn't start or play. Um happy enough with Foster. He's been rolling all around along with the points. Um Sarah was a good choice. And well, well the rest was okay. And obviously getting Kane in the free hit, that was really good for one game. So I see it's a bit flat, you know. Again, if you have Son or Spurs, you have to be realistic. That's a shocker there on that cold, wet, windy night in Burnley. Um, again, you have to look at the average. You know, over two games, he's got seven point five points. So it's a, it's a bit of a frustration. And you know, he's got leads now coming up. So loads of people will be um, bringing in. You know, double Spurs. I wouldn't trust their defense. Even Rafinha could get something there. Um, yeah. Just before we go back to the. Uh, pick team. This is what I've done. I've definitely concentrated on Bernie. I've took a minus eight. Okay. I know I had to do something. I had to get rid of them. Um, um, Vidra and Trippier and Jota. I got rid of them three. Uh, I want probably Jota back in the sometime in the future, but um, you know, um, so Veghorst, Tarkovsky, and Willock are the guys I've got in here. I love uh, Newcastle, unfortunately, now that's the, I've just seen that he's more of a flag, so it looks like he won't be playing, and I'll be depending on probably King, if he's playing against City, is um, not really firing either, so it's likely I'll only have 10 going in, but what can you do, I am kind of goosed a bit, um, I've kind of shot very fast and very quick, and I, I did that because I wanted a bit of momentum, <laughs> It's game week uh, 27 come up next, and um, it's going to be hard to keep that momentum on now to game week 38, but I will have two weeks to sort that out. And <clears throat> I know Liverpool have um, uh, an opportunity with Salah to trip cap here in game week 29, which then, so, you know, nine game weeks out, only a bench boost to go. I might bench boost that week, if anything. I like, uh, traditionally, I like to keep the trip cap till the end sometime until there's the, the last double game week. Um, you know, at some point, Salah will be rested. Um, so this could be a good week to do. Again, it's not a massive, massive double game week. The, like a double game seems to be shared over 28 and 29. And well, apart from Newcastle, um, everybody else has a has a, a kind of, well, half the others seem to have, or well, five have um, a double, and then the other five seem to have the double the following 29 so it's really hard to really nail this uh, i know the experts out there at fbl the andy's the let's talk and um, fbl mates all the scout boys they, they all want to find the magic formula it's going to be very difficult we can do another free hit here somewhere but you can't do two free hits in a row i don't think but uh, mostly everyone has uh trip capped and are done a free hit and they have one left um so I know I'm a chip and probably a wild card behind everybody at the minute. Uh, but Newcastle, for me, the team that I want to um, concentrate on, that's why I've got Willikin for a minus four. I think he'll pay off. He'll have four games. He's look, He looks really, really phenomenal. Um, uh, and uh, that's, that's, what, that's who I like to try and get me through this, this treacherous game of 28, 29. I'm not so much worried about game week 27 coming. Um, okay, maybe King will come, will play still. Um, um, yeah, I'll just have to figure out what to do with this guy. And by the time game week 28 comes, I'll be able to probably do another fruit transfer to sort out. I'll have these guys back in and I figure out what to do with Salah. Um, I do have enough in the bank. Uh, 1.5 million after getting in. Will hurt. We're getting in Willock instead of Jota, and um, I am worried that Jota could come back sometime. But what can you do? Uh, I think it's I've done very well to get away without having Salah in my teams, um, and I got him in at the right time. The free hit was perfect for me. Got Salah done, minimized my losses, and Manny was 
like come on man it was phenomenal that night he's he matched um uh, that's the the reason why i'm up there um the man name move uh, especially that goal at the end which just took the three points off salah and so the midfield really worked out came was phenomenal Josh had just ticks over he just it's a goal maybe two assists just so he just ticks over ticks over um i would wish i had wegors in there but you know it's hindsight in it um so the minus eight is going to be fine. Willock is an investment, a prediction for the double, double double he's got coming, which might uh, keep me uh, survival. I still like all your Burnley assets. I know the Andy and the guys from Let's Talk and and um, especially the Scout Boys. Um, uh, and there's another uh, FBL Scout with Giovanni. Um, I watch him a bit. He's quite good, but they're not gone on their Burnley dudes and. They don't like their fixtures, but I, I, lo- I love, I love their fixtures. I think going forward, they're phenomenal. Any, like, if you want, you can bench, you know, Burnley with Chelsea and City, but the rest of them, you'd back them, you know. And I, I think Pope is phenomenal. I'm really, really, uh, I'm unlucky with the Vah- Hadra, with the Ahernia. Um, that was a, a substitution I got in there. I should have probably went for the other dude, um, um. Rodriguez just just in case but I didn't miss out too much I got lucky enough that I could afford to keep Vahedra um, just a non-player and a uh, trip here flagged nearly every game but getting you nine eight seven points that was a good move with the, the wild card um, so I don't think it was a mistake for me that's why you've got to do everything for your team and look and assess it uh, you know um I saw the weaknesses in my team. I'm going to need the bench boost soon. I know all these guys play if they're uninjured. I, I know that for a fact. And so going forward, I'm keeping an eye on the bench boost and trying to have guys on the bench that will play um, at some time. So, um, so mostly now for the free hits, you know, um, this is what the game week 27. Uh, tonight now at 6.30, guys. Um, get your teams in there. I've got all, I got my team in anyway, and um, I got all done um, last night. Uh, no pressure um, on holidays now, so having naps, getting old now. Um, yeah, look, Breuer and um, Jamie Ward Prowse and Liveramento are the top three there. Um, you know, Brower's he's gone up to 5.5 from 5.4, 5.3, he's been just creeping, creeping up. But Norwich don't seem to be the pushover team anymore. I'm not sure who I'd have. Ida was doing well for them for a while and I wouldn't still have any of them, but they're just not a pushover under um, uh, Dean Smith anymore. And fair play to Smith. He's done a fantastic job there to give him a chance. Um, Leeds now seem to be that team, but I don't trust Spurs against Leeds whatsoever. I trust Rafinha to score or someone stupid. Like I'm not saying Harrison is stupid, but someone proper stupid for Leeds. Somebody like Aylin or something will score against Spurs. It's shocking. They'll have no fear. They'll go out. Tottenham will say, oh, what's happened? What's going on? Oh, my God. We didn't want to think this. It's, it's basically like you've beaten a bit like what I think they've gone to Burnley and they totally took them for granted. They've just bet City. Burnley going to roll over. They're going to be scared. Um, taking off Emerson Royale was a massive mistake. That was that was content on that that the blood. I shouldn't be talking about blood when Ukraine is here. I have um, um, a flag, Ukraini and Kathila, uh, and I've got Spurs there. Just just well, it's typical me, but yeah, there's no point talking. It's only football. Um, yeah, but uh, it's been very, an awful shock and I've just not wanted to deal with life at the minute. We're ringing and texting all my friends over in Ukraine and a lot of them will need help. Um, hear my talking about football, but um, that's the way it's going at the minute. Uh, so I, I'm not very, I'm not, I'm not too down. I think I will be getting in a uh, cane or son or sneak them in for him. Um, the double coming up, uh, their next double. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do with getting um, Spurs and, and Salah in. But the immediate thing is, I don't care what anything happens. I don't trust Spurs against Brighton and the other game against United. I don't trust them against United, although they have a okay record at Old Trafford. They've been winning there. You know, at the moment, I think Harry Kane is showing up for the big games, especially for City. You know, he's put his stuck one there and a Pepe is probably angry for a whole year. 
uh, with not stumping up the money, and he does that, and and now he's gone back. I think he's got like seven goals in the Prem this season, about 17, 19 overall, but they're all against Mickey Mouse teams. You know, I'm not... I, we're going to have to call you know, Harry out and say he's had a shit season, a proper match shit, shit, shit season. You know, I've had... I've capped him a couple of times. I went to matches this season at Wyatt Lane, and it's just absolute... He got a, an assist of an assist, which is no good. And that was more or less it. And he just not firing. And I think it probably could have been a COVID thing really going on with him, but um, because we suffered in December, but um, I just don't. If you've got any spurs, fine, brilliant, uh, keep them. You know, there's no need, but it seems to me there's um, a hundred different ways to skin it. Well, I don't want to say the CAT, but you know what I mean. It's there's a when you're playing FPL, there's a hundred different ways to play it and to get it right. And I seem to be traversing it at the moment without Tottenham. Um, I've had Tottenham before, they've let me down. Um, and this is what I trust at the moment. Belton will play, might get a clean sheet. Cancelo is just undroppable, like especially at Everton. Uh, Everton are conceding. Um, De Bruyne, I'm happy. Let's see the differential. Uh, uh, Marias now and Sterling, they're a massive liabilities, but will uh, the free hitters get their, their um, Man City pep roulette right? They'll be frustrated if they don't. And going forward anyway, United and City play each other soon. Uh, I think it's in game week 28 here. Yeah. So I, I am very wary of having too much City and United anyway. But uh, then, then I think um, City and United, if you have them, I think they're just basically sticking picks for the rest of the season and get one or two in. You know, United going, you know, they've got a lovely run all the way. We do have to also start thinking about Chelsea. But um, look, I'm happy with... Any United you got there, keep on with it. Will Ronaldo start? I'm not sure. He had all the minutes the other day against Atletico Madrid in that phenomenal comeback draw, which is we're going to Burnley losing uh, 1-0 and United are going to Spain and they're just getting phenomenal results. You just have to take your hands off to United there uh, and also possibly um, don't want to mention the, the other team of Scotland, what they did with Dortmund. Um yeah, that could be a game you play. I, I wouldn't be as scared at United playing against Tottenham, especially them playing at home. And Fernandez is just, I think he's the he's gone, he's back to kind of the old Fernandez. Well, had a bit of a lull, you know, CR7 coming in. And I know they're both Portuguese teammates and all that, but still the dynamic of the club, it would have changed a lot. And his a character, I think it might settle down now with Ronaldo that he's just going to realise that he just doesn't have it as much anymore. And um, we'll, we'll just see. He'll just uh, um, filter on till the end of the season. I think nothing spectacular. He, he get a hattie maybe against one of the, a couple of these teams or, you know, cut two penalties in the goal, a couple of headers in the penalty. You know, I can see that. But I think over keeping them all the way through this uh, could be a mistake. That's what an FBL we like to pick in, uh, the, our, our players according to the easiest run that they can have. And at the moment, United are... Yeah, but I think Fernandez is fixture proof anyway. He'll always come up with something. Uh, Ronaldo isn't his minutes will be managed, and Ilanga has to be mentioned at four point eight. Geez, he's doing a um, a great country trade. I hadn't considered, um, you know, but will I bring him in? A Ramsey from Aston Villa. Aston Villa will have a double game week, but I don't know where Aston Villa's form is. So everyone's going to Captain Veghorst or Harry Kane or something, and um, I'm just on the Burnley train there. Um, I know these guys are solid, and they rarely get injured yeah. touch wood and i should be able to limp through and hopefully all i'm trying to do is protect my position uh, on the overall and keep within that top two hundred thousand. and who knows um it's worked out quite well for me so far um a bit disappointed with what's going on with some maximum but uh, what, what can you do there um yeah, so I'm happy enough with everything else there. Just have to get lucky with the Everton result that they won't go too crazy, especially Sterling. All the free hit teams will have Sterling, Mares, Son, Big Horse, all the Burnies. Um, and, you know, they'll have, uh, um, obviously, they'll have maybe a double city defence or, the, you know, so we, we, we know what, they're, what they could be like. So what's the roundup of uh, the last game week? Uh, quick, quickly, let's have a look. Joey Heenan has really done a good country trade there. Um, 
he brought Tierney and Saka and Salah in for so he brought these guys in he took a minus eight um, I know how he feels sneaking in Salah there it was just a great um, manoeuvre in there and I think a minus eight was well worth it uh, 129 overall is about the average that um, every you know you had to get to get that green arrow and um, yeah and uh, he's able to trip cap as well and um, 84, 80 to 84 was the final. Wow, it's just, but it was such an easy decision. It's just I had to do the free hit to get Sal in, so I couldn't capture them. But uh, uh, Manny was my um, consolation uh, to to kind of keep an eye on what Sal is doing. And my God, did that that strategy worked out for myself. Sorry to be talking about myself all the time, but uh, this is a story of. FPL around Ballyhonas area and um, you know I, I want to keep emphasizing it's not just Ballyhonas I would like to say the whole area um, like when we talk about the Donbass we kind of know it's Luhansk and Donetsk when we talk about the Ballyhonas area I wish there was something else to bring out all the other areas in because um, there's uh, anyway uh, Joy there's nothing wrong with this team. I like Bowen going forward. Um, he's still going to be, even if he misses out, West Ham don't have many doubles. Depending if they beat Southampton in the FA Cup coming up uh, in midweek now. This is, I think this is coming now. This game After this game week weekend is over, the FA Cup are being played during midweek, except the Huddersfield match, which is an all-championship game, which will be played um, uh, after next weekend, Monday, Tuesday night, because they can do that. Uh, so all the Prem games will be played out there. So will West Ham lose? And then they might have, no, if they win, if they win, if they beat Southampton, they will get a double game week somewhere. So I love Bowen. I keep him. Although I don't think I have Bowen in my team, but I have, oh, I'm, oh God, fuck. I'm happy to have Bowen in my team going forward. Um, he didn't, okay, things didn't work out this week weekend, but he is deadly and I'm not Antonio, fair enough. But I just don't think it pays to have both. It's either... Antonio, like five or six goals, probably it's all season. It's not good enough. It's in a massive drought. And I just like uh, Bowen as the guy to have there. Um, I, I, your Watford guys, you, you you can have them going forward, but they're not they're not sexy enough anymore. They're definitely out with the, the older now and it's in with the new and you just don't want to have a double, these two double dudes. Um, King is definitely a guy you want to get. And I reckon that Joy will be, Doing a free hit, and he'll have his three Bernie. He'll probably have me, um, Pope, and Vagors, of course. And he'll be able to keep his Arsenal and his um, City. Well, do you know what? It's not, uh, yeah. Um, well, yeah, Arsenal, uh, yeah, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Liverpool. So he'll be able to, to, to not worry about these three anyway. Uh, four. It's not too bad. He could even get away with we're not we're not doing a free hit. Can you imagine that he could just nearly swing it there? It's not like a few of us that have six, like three, three um uh three Liverpool or three United. Uh, I think yeah, I think United are playing. So Arsenal, Liverpool, and Chelsea. So it's like some of this Liverpool Liverpool and um Arsenal, most people have like six or five. So um, most people are free, but maybe Joey can get away without it, but I, I don't think he'll want to be doing a, a minus four. He can do two transfers. It just depends. I think he'll go, he'll get a son in, and he'll get possibly Kane, definitely Kane or son or both, but definitely one of them. And um, he'll be getting in Sterling and Maris, and if he's ultra attacking, that's what he'll do. And Joey is our resident genius from last year, 79th in the world. Um, let's just have a quick look to see in the league exactly. That's the problem with FPL Live. You just can't get the details up here. They're all here. 29th in the world. Now, that's proper serious hurling, that is. Oh, 9 million. So, um, just got to sit back in awe like it, um, he doesn't copy or do and he's just clever as hell and he gets the right people and he's really on it now massively on it and um, now this is the series the big point 
big boy pants time now. Uh, a little bit in the bank, which is always handy to have a point one or two or three file handy in the bank. All all season we've had bits and pieces in the bank, uh, which has been able to get us out of trouble. And you can do a minus eight and just do a mini. Yeah, so 29th in the world, phenomenal after a game week 26. Um, so that's Joy. Um, Stephen Stress will be a bit kind of 50 50 about what's happened today. One, two, five, fine, but. Um, you know, you know, Arsenal concede in there um, uh, in the couple of doubles that they had. It's just a frustration and tyranny done nothing and just a frustration from there. Um, Salah, that was the move. The trip cap is done. Um, I just don't think there's many mistakes there, really. Kane, I'm not sure about having. Corne is a frustration. Is he injured again? I just think there's something up with Corne after he's come back from the African Nations. Um, Vegas was a great move. That's what really done it for him last last game week. And um, Abdel Delos, a lot of people have him, but he's a, seems to be 50-50 now with the, um, I think it's Wemba Saka that he's in for. Uh, Gray, wow. So somewhere down the line, Everton will have a double game. We can ask, but um, I don't know. It's one, two, three. Well, he can get away without doing a free hit or anything. So look, I think he's going okay. He needs to keep an eye on a lot on his bench. He's got a lot of money on the bench there, and I'm, I don't think even regular on something up regular on is not is. He can't do two games in a row. It's absolutely frustrating. And when he does two, he comes off by half time, and he's so injury prone, and he's not doing. That seemed to be a massive mistake. That was the bit. I think regulars and trap all season. I wouldn't touch him, but now that you have him, you have to use a transfer, or whatever. It's a bit frustrating that one. What do you do with him when you got a free hit um, for the next game week or going forward? Um, too much money to have on the bench there at any time. And Gray, 50-50, Everton not firing quite well. Um, okay, a few good results, especially at home with, with Lampard, but away from home, they're diabolical. I just, uh, there's been really no time I've considered DCL at all this season. It's shocking, really. It had to come down a DCL the season before. He was gold along with Whamas. So there's a little bit for Strett to keep an eye on. He, he, doesn't have to do um, a free hit look and he can manage with what he has um, going forward. And he can, but, you know, it's down to personality and, you know, are, am I going to attack? Am I going to be conservative? Do I need a free hit later? Connor Hussey has just been the star, of the, the hustle Meister, as we say, has been a star of the season, a bit like face man last season, um, Luigi Healy, absolutely fluid um, after Christmas um, last year. Uh, well not this not this year before and never stopped going like mid-november he was a train a train never stopped bang 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 second and connor like i uh, face man isn't a, a beginner of all this and i'm i'm think i'm not not, not sure uh, i think connor is quite new to the um it's just f from phenomenal he's absolutely massive into this and he's been on it every game week He's been overcritical of himself. I've done this and I didn't do that right and all. And um, that's a it's not a bad score, I suppose. 118, you'd be a little bit disappointed. A lot of us made um, quite a bit of ground. What can you do? Like, what was the story here with him? Um, uh, Coutinho, I'm sure he'll come fine somewhere down the line. He's got a double coming soon enough. Um, it's about faith sometimes in FPL to have faith. Um, terrific bench. Um, uh, going forward to this game week 27. Okay, no Ramsdale. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five. He's got five dudes there. He might probably free hit here. He'll have a whole 11. He'll have his, all his Burnley in there. So a bit like, you know, what the um, commando of Joey, Joey uh, Neenan will probably free hit. Um, you could go without, but uh, yeah in a good position either to free hit or to to just roll on 
Warriors a good a good shout against Norwich today, and um, Brighton against the you know are a good shout today as well against Villa, and he's got two two good Brighton dudes there. Like his bench looks well to come on for anyway these four. And my is it's it's, it's, I, it's do I go and get my Bernie dudes? I think it's just like I'll do a free hit just to get my three Bernie. In. I, that sounds boring, like but you know most of the country of the nine million will be kept in the wake horse. Um, some will do pub <clears throat> and definitely we well, have no Kane or Son in this team again but you know neither do I and it seems that we're getting away with the Spurs thing every now and again we're getting away with Spurs more times than not so um, I wouldn't be uprooting his team uh, over necessarily um, he can go without it but he can do the free and get all his um, look he's still got two City in there which is f- phenomenal uh, but very very well balanced team except for Fernandez is an issue, but um, I, th- I think definitely um, Fernandez is, is something to to be careful of because most people have him in the top 10k. Um, so you kind of hope and Bowen and Coutinho and Fo- even Foden. I, I'm not gone on this Foden thing. It's driving me around the bend. Oh, you got to get Foden in. Like you know, what's his, what's the story with him? It's absolutely and always unlucky with that event. The boxing thing and the, the attack on his mom and the whole lot but it's not f- phenomenal like 17 and 20 killed it the rest is bit 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 meh um you can still do it and you can have faith but i'd rather have marriage in there who's taking penalties um look he could do that i think he can get away could he well can he not really uh I think he can free hit. I think he can free hit this, and he can have a phenomenal team. Get a Sterling's in and all that. So, and there's Harry Kane against Leeds. Probably Leeds are going to concede. You know what I mean? It's totally Spursy if we don't even score against Leeds, and it's a nil nil. That would be that would be Leedsy as well. We'll have a new word that there's Leedsy and Spursy. Sounds good, doesn't it? Leedsy have been Leedsy this season. Come on, let's get this thing going. Leedsy is now a new Spursy. So, um. Phenomenal stuff. Connor is touching there the top 100k. I wish I was in his position right now. Um, I think he's got a load of stuff left. Uh, yeah, he got the, the free hit there, right? Played it early. So this is it's not too bad. I think there's not much between me and Connor now, really. I just he's just has to use that free hit, I would say, for this game week. I'm going with Dallas, I'm taking the minus eight. Uh, bench boost and trip cap, uh, I still have left. Um, I think it's not, it's not as bad as I thought now I'd be in position. But looking at his previous, um, yeah, so he's had a few years experience, but he's, you know, 106. Is that what, a million? Yeah, that's a million. So you can see it mainly the million, two millions. He's, he's, he's kind of entered it through. Uh, this is his first proper season. He's really took a mess. You can see that he was kind of interested last season. You can see there's a progression. He's got frustrated. He's he's gone in now with the hype, and he's in with the rest of us now. Um, Starman and 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 loads of us now. Marky, the Oracle, Phillips, and uh, all, most of the top dogs now. We're all massive on it every week, every year. And um, but yeah, Connor now. So you can see the progression there. He has have this over half a scoring, you know, 0.6 million increase from the year before. And you can see now he's, he's just really killing us. And I think my advice to Connor is just ride this thing out as, as much as you can. Get us bloody guru, you know, I'm the guru here. Um, and we've got the guru killer. So we haven't been out for beer guru, uh, Guinness guru. Yeah. Um, okay. Noted Hussmeister, maybe. Yeah, you bit of a guru, dude. Well, okay, let's let's see how you get on and can you maintain your podium. Um, I am keeping an eye on you on the mini. We've talked about me. I'm delighted. I'm fine. I'm happy. Um, uh, now this is the guy here. Look at Kieran Long, Kieran, aka Forty Seven Long Dog Kylie. All the K's, the K's, aka Forty Seven. Absolutely phenomenal. Himself and Hussey are just. He's becoming my favorite. Uh, I should be, I should be kind of not not liking Kylie now. He's killing killing us all, and the the king of the travelers, as you can see here. Um, 
Um, on the, on for Connor just run into a hurricane against Duncan Hannon this week. He's got the best score, one five six in the whole Christy Nich- Nicholson League that we run here in Ballyhonnis. And they just got blew away there. But uh, as you can see, um, young Kylie's won his match. Uh, here it is, uh, one two eight to to bet Starman. That's a massive, massive win there. Uh, Starman will come to his team. He's devastated with his with what with the captain and TAA trip captain. Um, but this is the story now. I'm not not far off the look. This four game weeks is is nearly impossible to come back from that position. Kylie would have to lose quite a few coming in, and he's not. Um, Connor now has just missed out on one, and he, he's you know, seven, but it's a bit too late. I think I think it's really still between up. But Jerry Freedy has always been in the hunt all season. Stephen Nolan, I, I could be just a bit too far back. Them two draws killed me. Um, I thought they might be working out well in the long run, but no, they're not. This, that, this stifled me. Um, I should be kind of up here if I was here on Jerry. So there's the, these guys are still the main guys. Um, I personally think even Stephen Strat might be just a bit too behind. So this trophy should be I'd be going between uh still not 100 percent rule out uh, myself down on sixth. Uh Arkle will be keeping an eye on things on the front, but you can't we I can I can't afford to lose any more games, no matter who they are. Uh where Kylie can lo- afford to lose maybe one or two or three against me, or maybe two. Uh and he's he's already got that initiative there. So that's um that's a good goal now. There's uh 26 game weeks gone. 27 coming so we're running out of road now has it when it comes to the king of the travelers and kylie just i think he did, probably deserves overall but connor hussey is the man and he could he could win this as well so jerry freely fair play that all season those guys have been just um phenomenal and there's gilday as well there uh, in fifth still with a chance it'd be nice to, it's always nice to win a trophy uh when the money's gone the trophy's still there and it's on the mantelpiece and so yeah, Kylie's made a terrific decision here. Um, he's got rid of Madison, who's been playing in the Europa League, doing great guns. Um, he's got in the Salah, and look, he's got rid of Ronaldo, took the risk of not having him, and he's gone for Weghorst, the future. This is hey, Weghorst, this is proper serious planning. Um, he's not only did he get Salah in at the last minute, his trip captained. Uh, is well on the ball here. Okay, Tree City is um, not massively ideal because if he's got any United, which he doesn't, so he's fine against United and City. I hate having five players in one game. It's so risky. A nil-nil would destroy you. Well, probably not in a way if you've got many defenders, but you know, for the 1-1, one, one, you're screwed either way. Um, Rafinha's fine. He's got a double coming. Um that's a worry now with myself, with himself. Sam Maximum's a worry. I've been sneaking in my Newcastle anyway. That's what I'm trying to do going forward. Brownhill, Dev- I can't believe Brown. Oh, that's over two game weeks. So, yeah, he got an assist, didn't he? And he's got clean sheet bonuses and he's probably picked a few points as well. So, that was just a filler. It's not, not like the Simicast Ward won't be playing. So, this, this game week for himself, uh, one. To, he's not too bad at all. Uh, he doesn't have many. Uh, he has no Arsenal, which, if anything, the reason the only reason I probably managed to catch Kieran is because of my Arsenal. Um, that was probably it. So it's psychologically phenomenal to to get back at Kylie in the last, well behind these guys, you know, 50, 60, 70 points at one stage. So this is it's good psychologically, but it's, Kylie's still got a lot of uh, a, a lot of um, uh, way a way outs here um, to get above me again. So I don't think there's so much wrong. You need to have some wolves um, going forward. They have double game weeks and they have a terrific um, uh, run in. Um, so a bit, a bit of wolves, a bit of Newcastle, um, uh, obviously a bit of Burnley as well going forward. Um, so does he need to free hit or, um, again, going without, you know, Will Spurs and Harry Kane and Son run right against Leeds. Um, loads of people will be on, uh, 
it's a good 11. It's a good 11. It's definitely a good 11. Um, and he doesn't need to, well, he's got, he could have Brownell, he'll have a double. But I still, I think he can still do a transfer in here. Depending on his money in the bank, he can get Weg, not Weggor. He's got Weggor, he's got Brownell. Does he really want Pope? He could, Pope, if he has the money, Pope would be phenomenal. But there's probably not too much messing about. And would you do a free hit with that when all your players are playing anyway? Um, okay, Sam Maximum won't be there. He might get rid of Sam Maximum. Um, oh, it's I, I, I don't think he needs a free hit there, really. Um, maybe if he wants a minus four, it's, it's a good position. Um, yeah, and what's the story? In fifth, um, I think he's pretty good with the old chips as well. Not bad, 210,000 in the world. I'm only about 5,000 ahead of him. Only two points is about 5,000 difference. Talk about competitive this year, guys. Um, as you can see, he's a bit up and down. Started very well and then lost it a bit, and he's back in the back in the groove now, the, the AKA 47, long dog. What's the story with him? Oh, God, he's got a lot done. Two free hits done. Two wild cards, trip cap, and a bench boost. And a partridge in a pear tree. He's nearly got the whole thing done. Oh, this is interesting. This is not good. Um, I think I've been quite lucky with my plan and my teams. I've got I've got the right guys in, and, and then they've worked out for the long term. I'm very happy with my game week this week that I've managed to get. Uh, I might have 11 on the pitch. Took a minus eight, but um, I think what I've done, it's just a gut and feel thing. Um, so, yeah, so it's just a bench boost left there. And, yeah, Kylie is a little bit vulnerable um, uh, going forward there. Um, right. Let's have a quick look. Fergie Walsh has dropped quite a bit. He'll be devastated with this. He was looking for Saka to do something again last night. Very, very frustrating. Pepe comes on and wham, bam. Thank you, Pepe. Arteta is the man. Um, it wasn't looking he was the man for long spells last night. And then all of a sudden, bish, bash, bang. Um, Pepe, he throws on Pepe and it turns out to be a masterstroke. And Pepe would be coming back fresh from the African nations. I'm not sure if he actually won it. Was, was, is he from Senegal? I don't know. Um, or Ivory Coast, maybe. Could be from Ivory Coast. Um, but they got near enough to the latter, latter stages anyway. Um, but yeah, he's from fire, Pepe. You know, and this is good news. But, um, Arteta can rest second now and again. And he can just go, I think Pepe can do the, do a job and you could consider him. It's a bit of a risk, you know, that Saka will start. But uh, Emil Smith-Rowe, you can't have him in. It's just, does he start? Does he doesn't start? Martinelli now started last night, did nothing. Um, you know, I definitely think there's maybe, you could get away with just one Arsenal at max two, depending if Ramsdale is your goalkeeper, then you could get with, away with Saka. But I wouldn't have three. So Fergie Walsh, uh, he's our Fergie Great Guns Walsh, Great Gunners. Um, look, not too bad. You'd be disappointed with Odegaard, did nothing, not a clean sheet there, which I wanted myself. Saka has done it quite a bit com compared to, he's lost all that Saka, uh, the Salah points, um, you know, um, was that 84? So you're talking about 50. 56 given away to the crowd, minus 22, 30, 32. So there's 32 points missing. If you add the 32 there, 133, which is about what you'd be wanting to get where Kylie is with it when he tripped. So it's just a bit of this is a massive frustration, but it's going forward. You still got a bit of Villa, which will be a good tri tri um, double captain uh, opportunity. Roger's absolute gold from now on. Um, I'm looking into just getting in Breuer going forward instead of some maximum uh, and I'll free up more money and then I could probably get in my son. Um, one of those guys, I think you definitely need Spurs in game week 28, 29, whenever they're doing their double. But I have to get in Salah first. That's the crack. I have to figure out. That's going to be easy for me to... Sorry to talk about myself now, but I, I could just get rid of... 
Um, so that's my my. Thing. But I can well, in my team I can just get rid of either um, the the De Bruyne or possibly Fernandez just for getting one of them. I can't have either or. I can't have both. So that's Fergie going forward. Um, he's got one, two, three, four, five. That looks like a free hit to me. Anything over five. Uh, Kilman's a bit frustrating. Um, good, good facilitator due to have there. Um, Edison's a lot of money in the bank and he doesn't get save points uh, going forward. No double game weeks. Um, it, it, it looks like if he does, I, I, I just simply, can you get away with that Weghorst? Um, possibly you could. Um, didn't do it the other night. Um, yeah, I think it's possible to go without Weghorst, but I just haven't. I'm just having them anyway. Um, I just want to err on the side of attack. Um, but yeah, Ederson, I think, will be an easy one for you to get in pulp uh, for feck's sake um, and save yourself some money there. But apart from that, I, um, I really like Great Guns teams and he's in it there for the long haul. Apart from Lawton, again, Connor Roberts, he, he has to get a rest now and again. I think Lawton's fit and ready to go. So <clears throat> I'd, if you're not doing a free hit, I'd have him in just in case. But um, you still, still have... Um, who do you drop there? Killman? I don't, I don't know. But I wouldn't be risking or have too much faith about low and starting the two games or even any of them. Um, there's Starman now. This is the unluckiest dude of the, the week. Um, he's gone and attacked the thing. Um, uh, maybe overthought with a touch there with TAA. Uh, trip captain him as well. I didn't even consider um, Salah has his vice. I think he had it on Saka or Fernandez, one of them, but he didn't have it on Salah. So he didn't fancy Salah really. He just, I think it's a gamble. It was a massive, massive gamble that you probably didn't have to take. Um, he's got Saka, so I say it's a draw. So he, he would advise cap Saka. And he, um, I, it's just, I know, I know, I know. It was just, um, just, one of those things in FPL, you make a decision and it kind of destroys you a bit. Like my last season for me, it was Aguero. Getting him in around that Christmas time, I thought it'd be a massive, uh, you know, oh, he'll be back. And then all of a sudden he's just there on the bench and just one point here. And it was just ruined me for a month. And I kept faith of him too long. It's just always one that kind of just knocks you back. But he's still well up there. Um, okay, Gev between it's not the well okay about 40 points 35 to 40 points to the to the, the to to the most of everyone else um trip capped on also oh, fernandez sorry so it was fernandez he trip capped um or vice vice capped um so going forward it's not the end of the world here saka well that looks to me nearly straight off it's got to be a free hit if he's got any left um Uh, yes, Starman. It's, it's, it's look, say it's all about seventeen points behind myself. Like it's, I don't fancy I'm a threat to Joy, but I'm gonna do the best I can to keep within that hundred points thing. And if you can do that, I said that last year about Joy. Keep within hundred points of Joy, uh, Joy Commando, Neen, and, and you're flying. You're well up. You're definitely top top one fifty. Um, okay. So the thing is, Starman's not too bad. He still has. Previous seasons, look at that for a score in its first season. 36,000, phenomenal. Absolutely, Anas Herobolus, um, uh, last season. Uh, he had two wild cards from hell, I remember. Absolutely disaster. It is absolutely nearly down, down so much. But um, it's kind of getting it together this season. And that was a bit of a puck in the face, the Salah thing. But what can, it's an absolutely massive gamble that was. I have to understand that was a... I don't think it was a gamble you... Starman, you you should have talk. Um, but there you go. It, you play how you feel. There's still a lot to play for. A trip, uh, trip cap, so uh, free hit, wild card, and bench boost. Bench boost. So that's um, a good position, and um, a lot of attacking. And I fancy Starman to be up there in the top three, four, five. Well, definitely. You know, this it's the podium there. Stephen Nolan will to keep a good country trade, and. He will be very hard to claw back against Connor. Um, 
is doing phenomenal at the minute. And um, we're just going to have to see if the nerves will hold out. Which as we saw a face, man, he just relished the, the, the nerves. He loved it. Um, so, yeah, he's got a lot to play for, Starman here. Free hit, the bench boost, and a wild card. So he can actually make up these points phenomenal. It's a bit of a puck in the teeth uh, last game week, I know. But it's not the end of the world. And a free hit will be played there. So he'll be down to the wild card at the bench boost. Um, I think he's got to attack it. Um, that's just my opinion there. Um, probably want to get his bit of Burnley in there. You want to get off Archer Ramsey now. is kind of calmed down with his points. Dini has been an absolute trap at the minute. It's shocking. Um, but who would you rather have? I, I'm glad I went for Trippier in the end. And most of the people were going in for uh, Dinya. I said, an awful shame with Trippier. Oh, God. Well, his bonus points were a joke. He wasn't getting his bonus points. If he scored 10 goals, he wouldn't get the three bonus points. But, um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll definitely... And he won't be playing for the rest of the season. He's got a problem in his foot. He broke one of them bones. Yeah, so there you go. He's just a free hit, and he knows what to do. Sterling, Mares, or, you know, um, uh, Laporte, probably. Could triple up in your city and get you a couple of your, you know, one or two of your spurs um, and get in your bit of Bernie. So it's pretty straightforward. Most of the free hit teams will be templated. So uh, if they don't perform, like the Bernies and nothing's going on, like you, you can, the, the single weakers can really, um, you know, it just takes a, a couple of shock results and you're, you're in trouble. So free hit isn't, it's just a convenient thing to do now as you can chill out. They can have all these, all you want then Liverpool and, and, um, and uh, well, nobody is Chelsea. We have to consider Chelsea soon. Um, and your Arsenal and Liverpool, you can get all back and you can chill out and you have kind of mixing, mixed bag and have six or seven going on each game week for 28 and 29. I think we can all get past that. I am very confident and get to game week 30 anyway. Uh, that's the one where we figure out all the FA Cup uh, stuff that's going on. Um, game week 30 is on the horizon. I'm not even going to worry about 20 or 29 because um, I have what I have and I've played most. I actually come on my own when I have very little to to chips or no wild cards or something. Um, but that's yeah, and the, this game week, of, of course, these two will be going ahead. And um, I think the Arsenal Villa will be going ahead. Um, the Newcastle Palace one should be going ahead, I think. I think they're both out. Um, that one probably won't go ahead. Liverpool still in the cup. So, like, there's going to be four or five of these games left. And we'll know for sure after game week 28 about these fixtures. So, I'm just... Uh, if, if Burnley are in here, which they are, I am kind of hoping West Ham beat... Um, West Ham beat Southampton in the cup coming. Otherwise, I've got three Burnley and I'm in a bit of trouble here. So I'll know by game week 28 about Burnley players. That's something to keep an eye out for. Chelsea will definitely be through in the FA Cup. That probably won't go ahead. Same with City. So yeah, I think Leicester, Brentford will go ahead. These three will go ahead. Possibly the Burnley, Southampton, cross fingers. Possibly the Newcastle, Crystal Palace. Uh, and it depends with Spurs and West Ham. If West Ham get beaten, then the Spurs, well, Spurs are not going to lose to Middlesbrough. They they could do away the way they're playing. So, you know, I've jinxed Spurs already. So that's probably a definite. But I don't want it a definite. I want that one cancelled. Now we'll really ruin a lot of people with the Spurs uh, story. So, again, if it's a small mini game week, like only four games going on, doing a free hit, it's not all that really. I think it's a bit of a waste. Um, free hit when when you've got a load of players missing and like what's going on this game week is a perfect time to free hit, my opinion. Anyone else? Any honourable mentions? Look, uh, Morgan Lyons is keeping on this thing as well, but he's going to be devastated again. Obviously, he's got on Salah. He's... My God, the same same issue with TAA, TAA trip cap and all. That's what's going on there is they're looking for the two clean sheets. Um, just to kind of get that easy and then he'll get an assist and he'll tick away and all of a sudden, bang, I can understand this. I can understand this. But uh, yeah, going forward with a lot of, oh my God, a lot of Brighton. Not Maybe not too bad against 
But Duffy's after letting in three goals against Burnley, zero points, 90 minutes. Well, there's a doubt, but uh, I think um, Burnley have got rid of a couple of their central defenders. I think I think it's a Weber, is he injured? So Webster. Um, look, the yeah, the going forward, there any any Wolves is going to be phenomenal anyway. Um, Semedo, is he fit as well? Was, he, he did get a, a knock. Um, again, I just think that's a free hit. Just is it like one, two, three, four, possibly free hit there for if he's got one there to use. Boyer is fine. Uh, if you've got De Bruyne, well, he's a facilitator for a Spurs player, possibly. Um, he might even be rested a lot now. I'm a bit worried about De Bruyne um, with his Europe. He seems to be playing though in the European games, fair enough. Sporting Lisbon, they hammered recently, so. And I don't think they have any games next game week, but you have to be wary that De Bruyne, I think he's been managed a bit. Um, but the whole lot of them are like, I think. And also I'm convinced Pep wants to get some of the younger dudes in like Mac, Mac, McAtee and all these other dudes, um, young goalkeeper. He wants to get all them in and get their Premier League medal and all this and that. So I would. then again, that was only a few weeks ago. If Liverpool win their game in hand and then beat City away in the Emirates, then they're, they're on top of the table. So, yeah, all Spurs have been good this season for is beating City and opening up the title race. That's all we've done. The rest, we've just destroyed all our own ambitions. And I think now the fans, some of the, well, let's just get an FA Cup and forget about the league. Who wants a top four? I, I would say, just say, affect the top four. I don't care because that only helps uh, uh, Daniel Levy and his cronies at Enoch. And um, the trophy will help us at least have memories but no memories for nearly 20 years, 32 years in the cup. It was in 1991, the last time against Forest when Gaza went off injured after two minutes. Um, and a, a Mickey Mouse cut a Caraboa in 2008, which was a, off the backside of Woodgate, you know, against Chelsea. I'm sorry to belittle I'm happy that Ledley King, King, King got a trophy finally, but everyone else at Tottenham, you look at all the transfers out, they've all gone on. Trippier's gone, won a, 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 a title of Spain. Walker, look what he's done since he's left us. Modric, Bale, you know, Carrick. It goes on and on. Loads of people um, have, have gone on. What, that's, it's, it's, it's just the truth. Um, we're holding talent back. And player, I don't want Kane and Son to be going on forever and they've never went anything. Talk about a waste of everything, a total waste of time. What's going on with us? Um, so that's just a ramble there, that one. But looking at Morgan's team, yeah, um, yeah, he could free hit to be one, two, three, four, five. Um, Sanchez can come on, fair enough. So he's got four, he could get away without doing it, but it would be more of a defensive thing going forward that he'll want to keep his free hit for later, maybe gamey. 30 if you if you felt like it. Uh, but it depends. It's very risky playing a free hit in three or four games because they could all end up nothing anyway. You know, the nil nils, one ones, one nils. Ifs and buts. But yeah, look, it's possible. I think think it could it's a 50-50 one there. Morgan away it up there. Uh, but he will be devastated with that point. Uh, the Oracle of Mark Phillips has come back a lot. He said it's so competitive this league. Um, the eye test here, like is that it was a was a big thing. He came good there, good call. Um, Josh was second tyranny. Fair enough. At least he's off regular. And um, Josh is, you know, I think he will come back before the end of the season. But Saka was still a good call. He's got in points, you know, five point five points uh, over two. He can. It's not. The, not the worst, it's not, it's, it's not fine. Like, uh, Kukuche, that he's been a trap, he's just done nothing, he doesn't do anything attacking wise. He looks good, he looks very wingy down the left, uh, the, you know, hair all over the place, you know, and you think he's actually doing a lot, but he's not really. It's all a facade. Um, continue, it was a gamble, a little bit of a gamble. I thought it was a good one, but it's not working out at the minute. But we'll see now against Brighton away, will Coutinho turn up? Um, can he get away without doing a free hit? One, two, three, four, five. 
He's got five. I think he'd probably do a free hit and just have all his player. That's a very good team coming back anyway in the run. It's just that there's no Kane, there's no Son at the moment. He probably want a bit of City, so he's really open to Spurs and Man City if he doesn't do the free hit, and also Burnley. So, again, I think that's an easy call for the Oracle if he wants and chooses to. And uh, uh, Sean Gilday down in tenth is the top ten, and the Christy Nicholson. Um, again, like last year, Sean is is came eleventh, unfortunately, just missed out. Um, for me, my motivation for Sean is to get in that top ten, and I I might have hats or I might have t-shirts uh, this year uh, to have two caps maybe I don't know um, but top 10 yeah there has to be something given out for top 10 um, something a bit weak about well he's got Kane fair enough Salah in trip capped great great stuff him and it that was a good call but then you know Weghorst people say oh Weghorst was the man yeah and he was actually that was um, if you can find a way to get rid of King for Veghorst, um, one Sanchez can come on there. One, three. That's not, uh, and that's that. I don't think Sean needs to even do a free hit here. Um, he can get away definitely with um, well, Ben Rama will play, will Reglan will probably look. It's, I think it's a 30 percent chance he will. He will, he probably, he probably I, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. <laughs> Too many Spurs in this team, Sean. That's probably why you're a slight bit behind the rest of us. We've not had Spurs for ages. and um, I've got rid of Kane about three times this season. I've got him in three times and out three times. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, you can, you can go without. They could go great guns against uh, Leeds. Um but yeah, I, I think if, if he wanted to, he can go with that team and uh, maybe do a, a, a free transfer and get in one of the Burnley books for King if he's got enough money um, or Pope, whatever it is. Um, but then, you know, Ramsdale is just not, it kind of tailed off a bit. And I think Pope is the man now, even if after this double game with Burnley. And they still have two games uh, left, Burnley. You've got Everton and another game left to rearrange. So, uh, you know, I'm 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 happy enough with them um, with my moves for the the Bernie dudes, and I don't have it here. Big team, uh, the games that they have to rearrange are still they're they're kind of juicy enough ones. Uh, one of them is Everton, which is I think it's the history, isn't it? Okay, that's that's not looking good. I can't get the information up there, but they have a good um going forward so Bernie one of them is definitely Everton and two two games left uh, just yeah shout out there John Halpin's got a terrific score there uh, he's done a minus 12 though back at touch but uh, it's great it's a great move there on the table and he is within a shout of the top 10 um, definitely um, it's a long way to come back but he's definitely like a, a, an oil tanker there. He's turned around the ship there up until now, and now he's on the full head of steam. He's a steamboat style. Uh, John C. Halpin. Need to keep an eye on this guy. Anyone who wants to finish top 10, this is the guy. He's got the experience, the know-how. You know, um, he was brought in there with, uh, he came in the same time as, I think he came, this is his first season in the Christian Nick. I think it was Joe Ian and that invited him this season to come in. Um, yeah, whole shot of Rosie. So there's yeah, there are a few players there mixed in this team. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Internet's dying here. Damn. <laughs> okay, I better wrap that up then. Probably no internet. So um, that's about all I can say there. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. No. Okay.
Right, anyway, thanks anyway. If you can still hear me, thanks, God bless, and best luck with your team this game week. Cheers, guys.